Hello, this is the Sudo Glove control system. It was a final project developed at Cornell University for Info 4320, Introduction to Prototyping and Physical Computing. This was a project built by Joe Ballerini, Tiffany Ng, and Alex Garcia, and myself, Jeremy Blum. And uh, so this is the Sudo Glove control system, and I'll walk you through the hardware components really quick. First, we have the car that we're controlling. So it's just a standard RC car that we've outfitted with some electronics. Uh, we're using an Arduino Mini Pro as the controller on here. It's connected to an XB, which communicates to the glove. An H-Bridge motor controller, which uh, controls the two motors on the car. And a SOMO audio system that plays back audio files. There's a speaker that we have mounted in the roof. There's also two headlights that we installed into the car and some siren lights on top of the car, which you'll see later. Additionally, we have the actual control module. So this is a holster that you wear on your belt, and it contains an Arduino Mega, a prototyping shield, and an XB shield. And it runs code that interprets information that we receive from this glove that we've put together. So the glove has a number of sensors on it, a flex sensor on the index finger, two force sensors, a vibration sensor, and a 2D gyroscope. And we interpret the signals from those and use them to control various functions of the car, such as acceleration, turning, reverse, the lights, and the sound. Now we're going to demonstrate each of the functions that the glove can perform to control the car. So first we'll turn the car on. Okay, now the car is on and ready to receive commands. When I flex my finger, it accelerates the car. And when I release, it slows down. And that's a um, analog movement, so it goes faster as I flex my finger more. If I hold my ring finger down and flex, the car goes in reverse. If I press on my pinky, I can activate first the headlights, then the sirens, and if I press harder, the siren sounds as well. Uh, by clapping my finger to the vibration sensor, I can activate the horn on the car. And by rotating my arm, I can turn the wheels. And you can see those turning. And uh, that's all the basic functionality. This is a demonstration of our gloves turning system for controlling the car. We use a two-dimensional gyroscope and gather acceleration data from it, and then using the Arduino Omega, we integrate that data over a time period to determine the approximate position of the glove in 3D space. The LEDs illuminate to help show the user which location the glove believes it is in. Yellow means it's to my right, green is to my left, and red is in the middle. Those locations are then transmitted to the car, so if I move my hand to the right, the car will turn right, and to the left, the car will turn left. So you can see the LEDs track my hand movement pretty nicely, and if I stay in the right, it stays to the right. If I stay in the left, it stays to the left, and in the middle, it stays in the middle. And so that can be used to control the car's turn. Now we're going to show you the Sudo Glove actually controlling the car driving around. I'll start by turning on the control unit. The glove boots up and notifies me that it's automatically calibrating the gyroscopes, which takes about three seconds, and then it's ready to go. Next we uh, turn the car on, which Joe will do. So once the car is ready to receive commands, it makes that noise, and then I can start driving it around. So I'll flex my finger to drive it forward. You see it goes pretty fast. And I will back it up. And I can make it turn by rotating my hand. And then back to the middle, and keep going straight. And I can go forward. And I can honk the horn. And I can play the siren sounds. I can park it under the couch. And back myself up. Make a turn by rotating my hand. Go back straight again. Drive forward. Go back. Straighten out. Go forward, 
Face of Cyrus. And uh, that is the car in action.